Huntington's disease is a very difficult disease to describe uh, and it's quite unknown as well so uh, it makes it even harder. I tend to try and keep it simple and just uh, say it's, it's a cross between Parkinson's and Alzheimer's uh, but it can happen at any age. The involuntary movements of Huntington's disease um, tend to cause a lot of problems because people mistake them for, for being drunk. Um, and I know people that have been arrested and uh, uh, or they've had their neighbours call uh, call the police because they've seen you know, seen someone drunk with their kids, etc., etc. So it causes a lot of problems, a lot of confusion, and a lot of misunderstanding. And that's essentially what happens when people have Huntington's disease. They are misunderstood. My earliest memories of Huntington's disease were of my father. Um, he was diagnosed when I was seven years old, but at that time, I didn't really understand. Uh, you know, what was wrong with him. Um, my mother told me that he had Huntington's disease and that he was gradually going to progress as the years went on. Um, but I was, as I said, I was seven years old and I was more interested in, in playing around. Um, and I didn't see anything wrong with my dad. Um, so it was really in, uh, a few years later when I was uh, you know, 11, 12, 13 that I really began to notice my dad's symptoms as they progressed. Um, you know, he was tripping over and um, breaking things and, and stuttering, losing his speech, etc. Uh, so those are the first things that I noticed, essentially, about Huntington's disease. As my father's condition uh, progressed, it uh, affected family life uh, massively. Uh, my mother had to quit her job and become a full-time carer. Um, and it started to affect uh, myself as well because I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't understand why my dad was getting worse you know, year after year. Um, so I kind of uh, started to rebel and uh, really didn't have a father figure to, to, you know, keep me in check. So I got in trouble at school and uh, eventually I left school and, and um, home life got more difficult for me. You know, watching my dad, you know, progress and not understanding why this was happening, I, I, I just, uh, I, I couldn't get my head around it at all. So. I tried to run away from the situation uh, once or twice, <laughs> came back, but um, yeah, it had, it had a huge effect on my life growing up. It just became a very stressful household and uh, it was a, quite a quick change from a, a nice normal family to a very stressful home. So yeah, it had a huge effect on the family. I decided to learn more about Huntington's disease uh, when I was about 18. Um, I'd been working for a couple of years and my